Hi, it's Robert McKinley from Beef Farms in Ontario. Welcome to Rural Ramble on the Road. The weather changing, pastures are running out, and cattle are going on feed. Or do they need to? With the use of stover crops and cover crops, the grazing season can be extended for beef producers in Ontario. Cash crop acres are sometimes left unutilized by livestock in our region and offer an interesting and creative opportunity to minimize feed costs for producers. Grazing corn stalks offers a high volume and low cost opportunity for, for feeding dry cows in Ontario. Typically in Ontario, one acre of corn stalks will feed one animal for two to three weeks. When selecting a field for grazing, there are multiple factors a producer should consider. These factors include proximity to a water source, power outlet if they're using uh, electric fence to rotationally graze it, and also perimeter fencing if there's no electric fence available. This field here that we are grazing here is close to a pasture farm, so we are able to tie into the water system that we are using all summer and the power system that we are using. When selecting larger fields, it might be uh, an opportunity to utilize uh, devices such as a solar fencer or a solar watering system or haul water to those cattle if need be. These also, all these factors increase the cost of grazing though and should be considered when working out whether it is feasible to graze a uh, stover or a cover crop uh, in your operation. Another opportunity for producers to extend their fall grazing period is cover crops. Cover crops are grown following a cash crop and allow producers to source a forage source on traditionally uh, cash crop land. Cover crops improve soil structure and water uh, infiltration rates on the cropland and can be beneficial to the following crop years. They can also allow for extended grazing periods for the cattle and better nu nutrient management, allowing for the manure to be deposited directly onto the field. When grazing cover crops, it is important to keep in mind uh, sourcing proper fields that have water and electric electrical capabilities so that the grazing costs are minimized due to low infrastructure needs. When turning cattle out to cover crops, it is important to remember to uh, move them when they're full and not empty to minimize uh, digestive upset and maximize nutrient retention. When grazing cover crops, it's also advised to, so to supply a forage source or a low roughage source to slow the passage of the material through the animals. This increases nutrient retention and allows them to better utilize the crop grown. Here we are at a cover crop field that we've been raising uh, pears on. So this field, we uh, sectioned it off into three sections. So about 10 acres a section, and we're putting about 30 pears on. So uh, as you can see, this is a later uh, planted uh, oat crop after winter wheat. So it wasn't as much biomass as we were expecting here, but we got about, on this side, we pulled them off a little prematurely to move them to a different ground, but you can kind of see what about a week of grazing looks like on this stuff. So as you can see, this is an exciting opportunity to extend the growing season. We have started pulling pears off of pasture at our operation already, and this is avoiding uh, dipping into our winter feed supply and has reduced our cost of production by utilizing this uh, cover crop. Certainly as land becomes more comp competitive in our area and other regions, opportunities like this uh, are very attractive as they it makes uh, some land, some acres dual purpose as we're able to grow a cash crop off it and harvest the straw for our livestock and then plant a cover crop after and use that to either harvest for winter feed or for fall grazing. Thank you for tuning in. This has been another Rural Ramble on the Road, and we hope to see you next time.